Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen where today we're going to be cooking something that is cheap and easy. This is probably the easiest thing I've made so far. I'm going to be making tortilla pizzas. These make ultra thin pizzas. They're really tasty, really crispy, require little to no effort and it tastes way better than those like pre-made bases that you buy at the supermarket and it's cheaper too. So let's get into it. So the ingredients we're going to need today are large tortillas and tomato paste and to be honest that's basically it from there you can build onto your pizza with whatever ingredients you want to use today i'm going to be using pepperoni cheese and spinach that brings our grand total today to 1974. again cheese makes up a large portion of that cost and we won't be using much of it today so if you've still got some left over from your enchiladas or maybe your cheesy garlic bread you can use it here Depending on how sparsely you use them, we also have enough ingredients to make six pizzas. And I can usually finish about one and a half in a sitting. So let's get into it. First things first, let's heat up our oven to 180 degrees. I swear I don't do this on purpose. These packets are always impossible to open. Fuck it. We're not making pizza. Screw the video. Right, I've had a quick break. I'm back into it. Let's get this open. So first things first, we want to coat our base with tomato paste. That almost rhymed. I'm like a poet and I didn't even realise it. Now this is quite a large can, you can actually get smaller tubes that are much cheaper. Um, we're not going to be using all of this today, but this is enough tomato paste to make pff, quite a lot of pizza. Spoon it on, spread it around. Now you don't want your layer to be too thin, we like a nice saucy pizza. As you can probably tell, I've done this a few times before. Cool. Looking good. Right, so that's your pizza base prepared, and from here you put whatever you want on top of it. So first off, I'm going to put on some pepperoni. These are quite large pieces of pepperoni. I might go with four today. And as you can see, there's still a lot left over. So let's divvy these up to get that flavour all spread around that pizza. Boom. Make sure your pepperoni is spread nice and evenly in a pattern around your pizza, okay? You don't want to be one of them weirdos who just throws things willy-nilly on a pizza. Perfect. So let's throw some spinach on there. Now I love spinach, it's basically just a better version of lettuce that you can cook. Now you won't need much, just a little bit to sort of green up the pizza. Rip the stalks off, because they're shit. Excuse my French. And again, spread them nice and evenly around your pizza. Boom. Now finally, let's toss some cheese on this. As I always say, the more cheese, the better. Boom. And that looks pretty fantastic to be honest. So let's get this into the oven. So I couldn't find a baking tray big and flat enough to fit my pizza, so I'm just going to be using the back of a regular tray. And let's get this in the oven. See you in about 10 minutes. Right, so it's been 10 minutes. Oh yes. So there we have it, tortilla pizza. So let's divvy this up and we'll give it a go. Just a word of advice, when you're using a wooden chopping board, don't cut with the grain. Nice and crunchy. So let's see what our judge thinks of this. So 
So is it good? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and I will see you on Monday. Cheers!